So you've been using those other guys to create and design your content, but they've upped their prices and they're not really cutting it for your needs. And you want to transfer over to Adobe Express. Well, I'm going to show you how easy it can be. I know it can be overwhelming thinking about how are you going to transfer all your designs into Adobe Express? Well, I'm going to show you how you can easily import your designs from other apps or other areas, even InDesign into Adobe Express. Let's start with the new import options. Now you can start from your content here and it's just going to prompt you to upload from your desktop. But what I want to do is import from another app. So to do that, you can click on this plus icon and head over where it says import from other apps. Click on this and you'll see a new window pop up. Now, what makes me extremely excited is the new addition to Adobe InDesign because I've been user for Adobe InDesign for a really, really long time. And this is perfect for anyone who is helping their clients make updates with Adobe Express without having to use InDesign because if you don't use it, it can get a little complicated. This is incredible. I'm super excited about that addition. Also upload from other apps like Canva and other ones over here and your storage app. So this is really, really great addition to import from other apps. Now let's talk about how you can transfer your content over to the bright side, meaning take your content that you designed from Canva into a Adobe Express. So I have a couple of templates that I have on Canva and I want to bring them into Adobe Express. So this is what you would do as you're trying to bring in your content into Adobe Express. It's fairly easy. All you need to do is download a PDF version of your content and then import it into Adobe Express. So I'm going to click on download and I'm going to make sure I have both pages and click on PDF and then we're going to click on download. Now I jumped back on Adobe Express. Once I saved that PDF, I'm going to click on start from your content. So this is another way for you to add your own content and upload your PDFs into Adobe Express. I'm going to click on this and I'm going to find that file I just downloaded. Then I'm going to click on open and we're going to see this window where it's uploading the content. It may take a few minutes depending on how many pages you can have. Now that it's done, I get this window that says the template has been uploaded and converted to an Adobe Express file. I could find it under my stuff or I can click on open. Now I see my file over here. I can start making some edits and just keep in mind there may be a few things that have changed. So go to your layers and ungroup some of the things that you need to go in and edit and keep in mind that there might be some slight differences from Canva to Adobe Express. So with Adobe Express, you don't necessarily have the ability to add an outline or a line to images as of today. But what it did was that it converted within that PDF and added this little border outline on top of the image. So you'll be able to see all the little details over here on your layers panel. If you don't see it, you can toggle it on by clicking on this icon over here on the top right corner and enabling your layers. And this is how you can easily import your PDF documents or your other templates from a different platform like Canva into Adobe Express. And what's really great is that you can now keep everything organized in one place. As you're going through this process, I highly recommend that you double check any rights restrictions, meaning that if you download a PDF version from a Canva template and you want to import it into Adobe Express, you are likely not able to use some of the stock images or fonts you purchased that are only available inside Canva. If that is a case, don't worry. I highly recommend using some of the free assets you have available inside Adobe Express from the free version, but also with a premium or the subscription you get access to thousands of fonts. It's around 30,000 fonts now and hundreds of thousands of stock images, icons, and illustrations that you can use for your content inside Adobe Express. So keep that in mind as you're doing this process. Now there's a lot more that I cover that you can find on other videos here. Now, what I really recommend is making sure that we stay in touch frequently. So if you subscribe, you'll be able to see the latest and greatest tips, insight and strategies that you can use for your brand from color, design and brand strategy. And of course, Adobe Express.